I'm Phil Helmuth, Jr. In late position, we can open up our starting hand requirements even more than we did in the middle and early positions when you're the first down of the pot. Well, we don't recommend raising with junk hands like deuce seven offsuit, we certainly ascribe to a more aggressive style of play out of the hijack cutoff and button positions. The biggest factor to consider when you're opening the pot from late position is your table image. If you've been raising every single hand from late position, your image is going to be very loose, which means your opponents may decide to play back at you, come over the top of you with weak hands of their own. In this case, be prepared to fold your hand to a pre-flop re-raise from a player in the blinds. Proceed with caution if you decide to call after the flop unless you connect very strongly with the board. You might not make a continuation bet, for example. Also, be sure to take note of the chip stacks of the players in the blinds before you open the pot from late position. Obviously, their chip stacks won't matter as much if you're opening the pot with a premium hand, but they can cause you major headaches if you're raising with junk. For example, let's say action folds to you on the button and you put in a standard 3x raise with a hand like 10-7 of clubs. If the big blind moves all in for an additional two or three or four big blinds, Especially two big blinds, chances are you're getting the right odds to call, even though you're probably way behind in the hand. Because you didn't consider how short your opponent's stack was, you put yourself in a spot where you're most likely going to be giving your chips away. Now, hold on a second here. Now, the aggressive internet players and guys like Mark Safe will probably want you to raise with 10-7 of clubs in that spot. And, but it tends to be more my style to actually not raise as much when the blinds are short is too easy for them to move all in and for me to be caught in a compromising position. Now let's get back on script. If, on the other hand, you raise with queens or ace-king and against one of the short stacks and they shove all in, your decision to call becomes much easier since you're, you probably have the nuts. So, in general, if action folds to you, when you're on the button or in the cutoff, you can raise between 70, well, 60 and 75% of your starting hands, especially in the later stages of the tournaments when the ante kicks in. As for which hands you should play, it goes without question that you should be raising with all the premium hands and solid hands that you would raise with either an early or middle position. In addition, you can comfortably raise with hands like suited ace or king, king jack maybe through king eight, queen jack through queen nine, jack ten, and small pairs. So don't be afraid to step up your aggression level when you're in late position, especially if you have a tight image.